My name is Greg Wegeman. I'll be uh, emceeing this evening's uh, first match. Um, we'll be followed up by uh, Mr. Bill Weissert. So I'm going to ask uh, each team captain to introduce their team. My name is Neil Larson. This is my beautiful wife, Debbie, my lovely daughter, Cassie, my strange cousin, Margaret, <laughs> and Aunt Beth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, not really. No, no, no. Not really. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and we will have, uh, and I've got to see here, uh, Team Captain Chuck Butler. Now, are you a firefighter? I am. Okay. And you're going to introduce your other firefighters. I, first, I want to explain the reason for the Sheboygan Surgery Center. Uh, the Sheboygan Surgery Center was actually uh, uh, generous enough to sponsor a team but could not uh, get a team together. So they made a quick call to the fire department, like normal, last minute, can you handle this? <laughs> and uh, we did manage to put a hodgepodge team together, but so far we're doing okay. And because of that, I'm going to actually let the rest of the team introduce themselves. My name's Chuck Butler. I'm Deputy Chief of the Sheboygan Fire Department, and this is the rest of my team. My name is Sean Delahunt, and I am an eighth grader at Holy Family School. Mike Slani, Rotary District 6270, and a retired employee from We Energies. Kelly Hine, Meals on Wheels. Andy Hine, Shemoyan Fire Department. Thank you for playing, and we will get started with each team captain coming up here by the bells. <laughs> okay, we're, this is going to be a seven round competition here. We have seven questions, and we're going to start out here with a question that was asked of 100 Sheboygan area teens. Name the number one thing you'd, you and your parents disagree about. Oh, that was close. close. I, I'm going to give it to uh, Maritime. Uh, doing chores. Chores. Team two. That's correct. The door is open here. There's a chance. I'm going to go with bedtime. Bedtime. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay. Chores. Play, play, play. We're play. going to play. Okay. <laughs> Curfew. Curfew is what I was thinking. Curfew. That's a good answer. Yeah, you answer. Woo! Very good. Uh, dating age. <laughs> dating age. Oh. 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 Okay. I first have to say I'm not related to Neil Larson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cousin. <laughs> Used to be, for be my really former supervisor. <laughs> um, uh, their parents disagree about. Um, I would say friends. Selection of friends. Friends. The parents thought that was a good answer. <laughs> I'm not related either. Uh, I'd say use of the car. Car. Use of the car. I think that's going to be yeah. up there. Oh. 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 Okay. We well, okay. we still have one strike. Wow. <laughs> so back to the team captain. I am going to go with doing your homework. 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 Great answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> 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 Okay. Allowance. 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 Oh. All right. Yes. Yes. Woo. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, working. 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 No. Working upstairs. Oh. No. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good okay. answer. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Yep. Yep. The firefighters are huddling here. They already have their answer. We're gonna go with cell phone use. Oh. Cell phone oh. use. That's good. That's good. That's oh, yeah. 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 So, 
team number one, the firefighters, win win that match. Ed, let's see, number five, video games. Oh, thank you. Go Debbie! Woo! Come on, Sean. Okay, we ask 100 Sheboygan County residents to name a park in Sheboygan County. Sean. <laughs> Louder, Sean. <laughs> the quarry. The quarry. Good. Team Good. one. Good. Sorry, <gasps> wrong. Whoa. Whoa. Good answer. There you go. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's up there. correct. Oh. That's a oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We play. We play. They're playing. Okay. Uh, Veterans Park? Veterans Park. Is Veterans Park up there? Could you repeat the question and who was surveyed? The 100 Sheboygan residents. And name a park in Sheboygan County. Maywood Environmental Park. Maywood Park. Good. Oh, yeah. oh, Walrath. Walrath. Still haven't gotten the number one answer or two. Rotary? Rotary Park. Good answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kings Park. Good answer. Wow. Well, if the firemen get this, they're not going to get a lot of points. We're going to go with Fountain Park. Fountain Park. Good answer. No way. Evergreen. Evergreen Park. Easier than okay, seventy five to twenty six. Dreaded fifth graders, oh, <laughs> 100 of them, um, to name a popular clothing company. Mike. Oh, thank you. Team one. <laughs> They're going to hit a. Geranimal. <laughs> Well, they're fifth graders, so you never know. But it was incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. We were all laughing so hard. <laughs> so you get a chance. Okay. Air Apostle. Air That's correct. That's correct. There we go. Wow. They are going to play. Good for you. Fifth this grade. is fifth graders. Fifth grade. Old Navy. Old Navy. Yeah, that probably is going to be up. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Uh, Levi's? Levi. Fifth graders. Yeah. 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 Wow. Very good. Gap. Gap. There's a gap up there. Yes, it is. Very good. American Eagle. Oh, yeah. American Eagle. That's a big one. Does it really? Coles. Coles. 
Well, they're 50. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. TJ Max? TJ Max. <laughs> oh, right. I shouldn't laugh. It might be up there. I don't know if this is LL Bean? LL Bean. Okay. It's all on your shoulders. It's all on my shoulders. Yeah. You're going to love it. But if Kohl's is up there, why can't Walmart be up there? Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Captain knows. We're going to go with Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, Abercrombie. Sure. It's Abercrombie. Oh, oh Abercrombie. Yes. 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 What's the number two answer? Yes. Nike. Yes. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Very tight man. Question number four. We ask 100 Sheboygan area teens to name their favorite brand of shoes. Kelly. Nike. Nike Team Kelly one. Says. It's almost unfair. Yes. She was good. I guess we're they're, playing. They're playing. Um, Adidas. Adidas. Wow. Yeah. How about Skechers? Skechers. Oh. I quit. I quit. You quit. <laughs> Are you a teenager? Yeah. You're not allowed to answer this question. <laughs> But you can. <laughs> um, DC. DC. <laughs> oh, thought you had it. I don't want to hear your animals again. <laughs> <laughs> I got one just as good. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds, Mike. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Door is open. <laughs> okay. This didn't take long. Boy, they. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Which one? Congress or Puma or Reebok? Converse. <laughs> Converse. No, Converse. We're going to go with Converse. Converse, Converse. they say. Oh. 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 And the third answer. Uh, 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 uh. Just, just a minute. Give us the answer first. Jordan. Wow. Jordan. Good job, guys. Good answer, wait a minute. Okay, the fifth question here. They're sealed. Look we on. have polled 100 Sheboygan County residents and asked them to name a magazine read in Sheboygan County. Life. Team two. It was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong. Oh. Sports Illustrated. Sports That's correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's one of my favorites. I 
I guess we're going to play. We're going to play. That sounded confident. Yes. We're going to play. It's only four more to go. Who did we interview? Residents? Residents. U.S. News and World Report. U.S. News and World Report. <laughs> Time. Time. Yes. People. People. Number one. Wow. Consumer Reports. Consumer Reports. <gasps> oh, one more straight. Newsweek. Newsweek. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's been about them so far. I'm going to say teen. Teen? Seven different answers. <laughs> and we think one of them might be up there, but we're going to go with Reader's Digest. Reader's Digest. Oh. oh. Sorry. And I go with Midwest. Libby. Wow. <laughs> Was that one of your seven? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I remember answering this. We pulled 100 Rotarians and asked them to name a city known for its beer brewing. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Team two. That's correct. Wow. 75. Ask or play? Play. 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 Drink play. Play. <laughs> Chippewa Falls. Oh. Chippewa Falls. Whoa! I didn't think yeah. that would be up there. Wow. She's not of age. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Name a city known for its beer brewing. In the United States. In the United States. Well, it doesn't say that. True. <laughs> but these are Rotarians, remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I'm just going to... Prague. Prague. <laughs> oh, that's what we thought. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> nice guess, though. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Uh, New Glarus. New Glarus. Yeah. I know uh, my brother lives there. I've been there. Uh, St. Louis. By the way, sorry. St. Louis. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and only one strike. And we come to the beer drinker. <laughs> I had Milwaukee, okay? <laughs> um, known for its beer brewing. Well, we did have Hobbs Haven. So let's do Sheboygan. <coughs> Sheboygan. No. <laughs> Boston. Boston. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Is that three? Seven choices. I've been in the spot before. It doesn't feel good. Uh, we're going to go with Denver. Denver. Um, of course. Oh. This is 
the final question. Make sure I read this right. We polled 100 teens and asked them to name a pet you would like to have. Sean. A dog. A dog. One. Yes. Wow, you got one answer. Pass or play? Firefighter. Play? <laughs> We're going to play. Mike, okay, Mike, you, just have to, you, you can stay up here. You stay up here. Oh, unless, you, unless you want to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> stay right here. Cat. Cat. Okay, we're going to what are animals? Horse. Horse. Okay, now we get into the weird pets. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing biased there at all. Um, a snake. A snake. <laughs> Not that weird. Okay. <laughs> Hamsters. Hamsters? Wrong. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Sean, oh, they are weird animals. This is a teen question here, you didn't too, Sean. An elephant. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. He's always wanting an elephant. Teen. Teen. Oh yeah, we're gonna go out on a limb with the ferret. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Lovely <laughs> ferret. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to fish. Come on! He wasn't so far <laughs> off. Oh, Ryan. And this concludes this match. We are looking at a score of 274. Sports. So, congratulations, Maritime and firefighters. Thank you for playing. Let's hear it for the Stephanie Wild Center. Made it this far. And who would know that theatrical people could be such good, so good at guessing? All right. Then let's have the blooming idiots come on down. All right, they are ready. And who would have known that potted plants could answer questions so well? Great. All right. Okay, all right, fine. All right, so here. Yep. Why don't you tell me what you're going to do? Okay, so uh, the Kohler Company generously donated six $25 gift cards to our organization for oh, tonight's event. And so we had a contest uh, wherein people needed to correctly answer three questions, and then there was a wild card tiebreaker in case they got the answers correct. So I have the six winners. If you're here, that's great. I have the gift cards for you. If they're not present, their phone numbers are on uh, their uh, entry form, and I will be calling them and giving them the great news. These gift cards are good at any of the Kohler Company uh, facilities, you know, stores. Uh, so there are plenty of places for you to be able to use them. This is a very nice gift. So the first question, a rotary shelter box provides a durable tent for a family of up to how many people? Ten. Very good. Rotary's Polio Plus initiative to immunize all the world's children against polio has contributed to the complete eradication of polio from more than 120 countries. How many countries remain endemic? Four. Four. Very good. And what is the most widely printed and quoted statement of business ethics in the world? The world. The four-way test. Our four-way test, the rotary four-way test. That's pretty neat, isn't that? So our six uh, winners all did get those answers correct. So we did need to go to the tiebreaker in order to determine, because we did have more than six people with the correct answers. And the, the tiebreaker question, 
How many Sheboygan downtown Rotarians can fit into a shelter box tent? All of them. <laughs> they can, because there are 120, and they could all fit in. The shelter box is actually a pretty enormous uh, tent, and uh, the correct answer is 352, all standing, crammed in there. So it's a lot of people. That, that tent is really big. So all 120 would be able to get in. So we have um, Kelly is Reitz, right? Are you here? R-E-I-F, it looks like. Then Kelly Den Denbear? Denbor? OK, you are a winner, too. Congratulations. If you're out there in uh, the Channel TV 8, <laughs> uh, you won. <laughs> OK, Sharon Schweffel, are you here? No, OK, we got her. Sue Kiefer, you're here. Oh, she's out in the hall. I'll give her the card. And the last one is Lisa Hartman. So congratulations to you all, and uh, great fun learning a little bit more about Rotary for those people who are not Rotarians. Thank you very much for doing the research in the commons and looking at our exhibits to find uh, what the correct answers were. Okay, Bill. Thank you, Madam Thank Chair. You. Great job, Katie. All right, let's hear it for, uh, <laughs> Katie's done a great job. Let's give a round of applause, Katie. You're doing such a great job in organizing the event. We appreciate all your effort. And we have two great teams here. We have the Blooming Idiots, which are the number one team, and then we have the Stephanie Wild Center, which is the number two team. Uh, team Captain, could you please introduce your team, please, to us? Um, I'm Deb Denzer from Confloral and Greenhouses. Jeff Brown from Confloral. Thank Kathy you. Nichol from Cons. Megan Ursi from Cons. And Justin Illig from Cons. All right. Great team. And Jean, can you introduce your team, sure. please? I'm Jean Schott Wagner. I'm on the board at the Wild Center. This is Kathy Quashitz, my sister. She's our volunteer for today for the team. Bill Fisher is the director of the Wild Center. Okay. Kim Miller is the director of events at the Wild Center, and her husband Henry Miller. All right, two great teams. Well, let's have the team captains come up. All right. We're ready. Here we go. Come on. All right. Let's our go, first question. We get down to those teenagers again, which are always fun. <laughs> so we surveyed 100 teenagers, and we asked them this question. Name your favorite board game. Cons. Team one. Team one. Scrabble. Scrabble. Scrabble the answer. Sorry. Wrong. Oh, sorry. Monopoly. Monopoly. Is Monopoly That's the correct. answer? Yes. Well, number one answer. The question is, do you want to play or pass? Pass. You're going to pass. All right. So this is a tough one. Life. Life. Life itself. That's good. Is life an answer? Well, very good. Number third answer. Trivia. Is trivia an answer? Clue. Clue. Is clue an answer? Oh, you got two wrong. I'm going to say Candyland. Oh, Candyland. That's a good answer. All right. You're hanging in there. You're hanging in there. The question is again, teenagers, name your favorite board game. I'm going to say chess. Chess. Would be chess be an answer for teenagers? Oh, wrong. It's a chance to steal the points. You've got, um, got, almost, got almost 90 points there to steal. And the answer is? Risk. Risk. Is risk the answer? I'm oh, sorry. wrong. Number one gets the points. Let's see, number five answer is sorry. Oh, you were right. Sorry. Fourth answer is checkers. Checkers. How easy is that? Well, number two team got the points. 
Oh, no, two number one team got the points, right? Number one team got the points. 89 is it. We'll send the next one up. Let's go, Jeff. Come on. Okay. We surveyed 100 residents in Sheboygan County. And we asked them this question. Name a popular bar beverage establishment in Sheboygan County. <laughs> Highland House. Team two. <laughs> Highland <Yeah>. House. <laughs> oh, you get a chance to steal, Jeff. Um, <laughs> Major leagues. Major leagues. Sorry. All right. So team two has got to decide if it's going to play or pass. You're going to play or pass? What would you like to do? We're going to pass again. You're going to, going to pass again. All right. I'm going to go with Hops Haven. Hops Haven. Oh, oh. tough. Pledge and Larry's. Legend Larry's, good answer. Oh, that's a great answer. That's an answer I would have given. I'm not Legend Larry's. Briscoe County Wood Grill. Oh, Briscoe County, that's a good answer. I go there. All right, 100 residents. We asked them to name a popular bar and beverage establishment in Sheboygan County. I'm going to say Highland House. Highland House, huh? Bourbon Street? Bourbon. Oh, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Nope. Yep. All right, the Wild Center's got a chance to steal. All right. Wyman Sports Bar. Wyman Sports Bar. Is it up there? Oh, yeah. Wyman Sports Bar. All right. Let's see what the sixth answer is. Mannings. Stuff. Number one answer is Urbane. Oh, big time. We're going upscale. Tim T got the. All right. Close game. Okay. Question. And we surveyed those difficult Rotarians that sometimes are tough to figure out. Name, right, it's true. Name a country known for its winemaking. Italy. Italy. Team one. That's correct. Number two, you got a chance to steal. France. France. That's yes. correct. Number yes. one answer. So you get to choose whether you want to play or do you want to pass. We're playing. We're playing. All right. The question is again, we surveyed 100 Rotarians. Name a country known for its winemaking. The United States. The United States. We make a lot of wine. That's very good. I will go with uh, Spain. Spain. Oh, I would pick Spain. Spain's a good answer. Chile. Yep. Chile. Another great answer. All right, we've got... We got three answers left. Australia. Australia? Yeah. Oh, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. And? Japan. Japan. Saki. <laughs> oh, you got two strikes. One more strike left. You have two answers that are possible. Australia. Well, they already did Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> oh. All right, the blooming idiots have got a chance to steal and gain the lead. Germany. Germany. There we go. All right, and the seventh answer was New Zealand. All right, so team one. Got the points. What's the score? 184 to 35. Come on, Stephanie Wild Center. You got to catch up. Next one's up. Come on. This is our fourth.
fourth question. And we surveyed 100 teenagers. Name the most used word in an online conversation. Team one. Team one. LOL. Yeah. Good answer. That's LOL. LOL. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You just, you'd have to know that. All right, so the question is, do you want to pass or do you want to play? You're going to pass. A <laughs> <laughs> little shell shocked at that one, huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll repeat the question. We surveyed 100 teenagers, and we said, name the most used word in an online conversation. WTF. WTF. WTH. Oh. All right. Those are good Gene. teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. OMG. Oh, Is OMG in? No. Oh. How about hi? Hi. Yeah. Okay, like hi. Yeah, H-I-G. H-I. Hi. Oh, wrong. All right, three wrong. You got a chance to steal. We do right now. You got a chance to steal 40 points. Okay, and the answer is, Madam Captain? BRB. BRB. Is that an answer? Oh, number two gets the points. Number nine answer is what? Number eight, the? Number seven, IDK? Number six, like? Oh, I would have picked that one for sure. Number five, you? Number four, okay? Number three, aha? Uh -huh. Number two, hey! All right. All right, so the score is. All right. We surveyed those Rotarians again, trying to figure out what their opinions are, which they're always a question. Name a place to have breakfast. Number team two. Team two. Harry's Diner. That's correct. Number one. You got to decide if you're going to play or you're going to pass. What's it going to be? I like the flowers, by the way. Nice touch. It is a nice touch. It is a nice touch. Isn't it right that they should have flowers against the blooming Indian? You guys didn't even think of doing that, right? Let's play. Let's play. Okay. All right. So I'll repeat the question. They're playing. We surveyed 100 Rotarians, and we asked them, name a place to have breakfast. Perkins. Perkins. Oh, they do like those pancakes. McDonald's. McDonald's. Are Rotarians cheap? Yes, they are. That's what we want to know. Where Denny's. do they like to have breakfast? Denny's. Denny's. They go to Denny's? <laughs> they don't go to Denny's. Fountain Park. Oh, Fountain Park. Good answer. Ah, we always find Rotarians at Fountain Park. Uh, Field of Fork. Field of Fork. Well, good answer there, too. You got, you got quite a few answers left to go. Uh, Bills. Bills. No. Oh, that's, where, that's where this Rotarian goes, but not everybody else goes. All right, you got two wrong answers, and you have... Family restaurant. Is family restaurant up there? Family restaurant? No. Not there. You've got four. We got five more answers. You got quite a few points there. You can steal quite a few points. What's it going to be, Captain? Um, I'm going to go with Judy's place. Judy's place. Is that a good answer? 
Beauty's place. All right. Steal the points. Number 10 is Whispering Orchard. Number 9 is Parkview Family Restaurant. Charcoal Inn. Very good. All right. Team one got the points. 261 to 75. Okay. We surveyed those good Sheboygan citizens, and they were kind enough to help us with their answers. Name something a person would least like to get as a present. <laughs> a bag of poo. A bag of poo. <laughs> Why not? A bag of poo. Is that up there? Name something a person would least like to get as a present. It's not there. It's not there. Good answer. A tie. A tie. Would a... That's correct. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You're making that executive decision, right? We didn't even yeah. consult your team. No. <laughs> you didn't need to. No. Okay. <laughs> Tough Lots one. Underwear. Underwear. <laughs> All right. Socks. We'll go with them. Socks. Number one answer. Where's cheese, bro? How can they say you got to have socks as a present? Come on. All right. Here's the question. We surveyed 100 residents. And we asked him, name something a person would least like to get as a present. Shoes? I don't know. Shoes. Good answer. All right, you got one, only one wrong. How about a belt? A belt. Would they like to get a belt? Or not get a belt. <laughs> All right. You got one left. It's coming down to the captain. I'm going to say pants. Pants. Will they like their blooming pants? <laughs> yes. The blooming pants. Close. Very good. Okay, you got three answers left. One, two strikes. Very close. Cologne. Cologne. <laughs> Three wrong. All right, St Stephanie Wild Center. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, I'm going with my team's answer. Okay. A pet. A what? A pet. A pet. An animal. An animal. A pet. A pet. Wrong. All right. Number one gets the points. Number seven answer is gift card. Number six, vacuum cleaner, of course. And the third answer is fruitcake. Perfect. Fruitcake. Why not? All right, who's up next? Take us to the promised land, Jeff. Come on. Okay, we've surveyed. Wow. We've surveyed those imaginative fifth graders again, and we asked them this question: Name something you could find in a tree. Leaves from the blooming idiots. Leaves. Is that an answer? That's correct. Fourth answer. Apples. Is apples an answer? Yes. Well, the seventh answer, fruit. So you've got a choice to make, Blooming Idiots. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? Play. All right. They feel comfortable with this question. It's right up their alley. Oh, to me? Yeah. Birds. Birds. Would fifth graders find birds in trees? Yes, birds and owls. We surveyed 100 fifth graders. 
Name something you could find in a tree. A squirrel. A squirrel. Oh, good answer. What do you think a fifth grader would want in a tree or find in a tree? How about a kid? A kid. Would they find kids up there? No. These are very good fifth, fifth graders, you know? I thought that was a great answer. It was a great answer. It was a good answer. Um, I'm going to say um, a tree house. Good a tree house. Very good. Oh, I would have said good. A lot of these kids don't have tree houses, obviously. No, they don't. Good example. A cat. A cat in a tree. Where are the firemen getting the cats out of the trees? All right. Oh. I thought that was a good answer, didn't you guys? <laughs> you guys are always getting those cats. I thought that was a very good answer. And the answer is? A nest. A nest. If you're going to find birds, are you going to find a nest? All right. Number two team wins. And the tenth answer is? Pine cones. And the ninth answer is? Nuts. Acorns. The eighth answer is? Wood bark. The sixth answer is? Bugs, insects. And the second answer is? Sap. All good answers. All excellent answers. Those fifth graders, they know what they're doing. All right. We got it. And I think that's it. That's the score. And so, Blooming Idiots goes on to the next round. Let's give a round of applause. Team number one is the Blooming Idi Idiots. And team number two is the Maritime Insurance Group. How right should we have insurance battling Blooming Idiots? A great deal. All right. Now, we need to, we need to uh, appreciate the fact that we started off the afternoon at 3 o'clock with how many teams? Does anybody know? 32 teams. We started off with 32 teams, the most teams that we've ever had, and we're down to these fine people here, these, these 10 individuals, down to the final round. Quite an achievement to get this far. Did you guys think you would get this far? No. I know you never thought you'd get this far. <laughs> I bet when, you're, when your parents sucked you into this, you thought, you know, honey, you'll be done five. by 4 o'clock. No yeah. problem, right? We told her 5. We told her 5. And the four. blooming idiots, they had no idea what they were no. getting themselves into. <laughs> right? So congratulations. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause <laughs> for the two teams here at the end that they've made it down here today. <laughs> and I don't think we need to go into uh, introduction. We already know the teams. Great. Let's get right into the match. Okay. All right. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna. Have, well, are you ready? Are They're limbered up now. All right. Great. So now we've interviewed 100 teenagers, and we asked them this question: Name your favorite sport team. Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers. Is it yes. up there? Oh, the number one answer. I don't know. We do. You always play. We always play. You always play. So name. So we again surveyed 100 teenagers, and we said, name your favorite sports team. The Brewers. The Brewers. Good answer. We said. Well, clearly the Badgers. The Badgers. Clearly. Bucky Badger. Only number seven, though. The Bucks. The Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks. Oh. 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 The Bucks are not well liked by teenagers. Wow. I'm going to say Sheboygan North. Sheboygan North. <laughs> we got one more answer here. One more answer. Favorite sports team. Favorite sports team. We, we surveyed 100 teenagers in Sheboygan County. Well, let's hope that they like hockey, Milwaukee Admirals. Milwaukee Admirals. Yeah. Yeah. All right, blooming at its. What's you've got four chances at an answer. Wow. 
Okay. All right. And the answer, team captain, is? All right. Let's see. We're going to go with the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat. Is that an answer? All right. All right. Let's see what the other answers are. Number six is four. <laughs> Boy, that got a reaction. You guys haven't booed anything all night. Well, you really hate the Vikings. All right. Number four, the Lakers. Number three, the Dallas. Well, listen. All right. Team one gets the points. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right. We surveyed 100 residents across the county, and we asked them this question. Name a native plant found in Sheboygan County. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and the answer is? I'd say a birch. A birch tree. One. Is an Tom. answer a birch tree? Tom is correct. So Tom is very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, Tom. Oh my God. All right. Oh, my God. Dandelion. Dandelion. That's, yes, that's good. No, that's no. good. No. All right. We're go down the line. No, we got it. We got it. Oh, you got it? Dandelion? Yeah. Oh, dandelion. Oh, I didn't hear that. Dandelion. All right. You go play. You always play. That's the strategy. I can't believe that was the right answer. All right. <laughs> Even I don't believe that. All right. All right. We surveyed 100 residents across Sheboygan County, and we asked them to name a native plant found in Sheboygan County. And the answer is? <laughs> a pine tree. A pine tree. Wrong. Um, clover. Clover. Oh, I'm going to go maple tree. A maple tree. Okay. All right. What a perfect question for the blooming idiots, huh? Could have worked out any better here at the end? <laughs> we got one wrong already, right. And, and what's... What's this answer, team captain? I'm going to say daisy. A daisy. Is that the right answer? Oh. I'm wow. sorry. Oh, all right. Let's, all right, so team two won the round. Let's see what the answers are. Number five, cattail. Number four, violet. Number three, selenium. That's a good answer. And the last answer, number one answer is poison ivy. Boys and Ivy, boys and Ivy. Wow. All right. These are getting hard. Wow. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we, we surveyed those particularly unreliable Rotarians, <laughs> and we asked them this question. Name a famous president of the United States. Lincoln. Team two. Yes. Number one answer. Nice. Oh, play. They always play. <laughs> All right. So we surveyed 100 Rotarians who may know something about history, they may not. And we asked them to name a famous U.S. president. I'm going to go with Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. There we go. The Rough Riders. Very good. John Kennedy. Very good. Apparently some Rotarians do know something about history. It's amazing. George Washington. George Washington. One of the founding fathers. FDR. FDR. Franklin Roosevelt. Oh. 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 Madison. Madison. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Number two answer. Yeah, Rotarians like Ronald. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Writer of the Declaration of Independence. No, you're not done. Wrong. All right. 
Here go. Blooming idiots get a chance to steal. Question is, name a famous president. What would Rotarian say? George W. Bush. George W. Bush. Yes. Oh. All right. Team one gets the points. The seventh answer is Barack Obama. Barack Obama. All right. The score is team one got the points. 169. You know, I think the blooming idiots are just making it on their name myself. All right. Now we've surveyed 100 teenagers. Now oh, this may be unfair. 100 teenagers. Name a favorite childhood TV show. Family, family Guy. That's a good answer. Let's hear it for Family Guy. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, very sorry. The Simpsons. The Simpsons have over 500 episodes. What is it? Oh, I'm very oh. sorry. Oh. So we go back and forth now. Let's read it again. I'll read it again. We surveyed 100 teens. Name a favorite childhood TV show. Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Good answer. Sorry. Wrong. Wrong. That's my kid. Wow. Name a favorite childhood TV show. SpongeBob. Good answer. SpongeBob. That's correct. Yes. Number one answer. Are you going to play? Or are you going to pass? We pass, because Maritime play. always plays. They always play. <laughs> they always play. All right. I'll read the question again. We surveyed 100 teens, and we asked them to name a favorite childhood TV show. Barney. Barney. Oh, excellent answer. Excellent answer. Teletubbies. Teletubbies. <laughs> Recess? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the answer is? Oh, I'm trying to think of the name of. Uh, um, I, I, oh, crap. <laughs> Not that, no. <laughs> um, Dor Dory, something with Dory's. Um, oh, Dor Dory. Do Dora. 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 Is that your answer? I guess it has to be. I can't think of the rest of it. <laughs> All right. Dora. That's oh, oh, three wrong. Oh. Blooming idiots have an opportunity to steal the points. And they're going to get uh, 56 points out of this if they steal. Team captain, do you have an answer? Do you have an answer? And the answer is? Sesame Street. Sesame Street. <laughs> there, I guessed that. I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So team two gets the points. Arthur. Five is Scooby-Doo. Rugrats. Three is Blue Clues. All right, 169 to 77. Maritime's going to make a run at it. I can sense it. All right, we surveyed those Rotarians again, again, and we asked them this question. Name a tourist attraction in Sheboygan County. Team one. Team the one. House. The Old Wade House. That's correct. Oh, well, but it's only the fourth answer. So you, whistling Straits. Is that an answer? That's correct. Up to the top. Oh, 
All right, so you get a chance to play or pass. Always play. Always play. All right. Tourist attraction. Uh, that would be Blue Harbor. Blue Harbor. Good answer. All right. Kohler Design Center. The Kohler Design Center. Number 10. John Michael Kohler Art Center. The John Michael Kohler Art Center. All right, very good. Or the marina, you know, the lake. The marina. Yeah. Lakefront, very good. Uh, John Michael Kohler, uh, no, Terry Andred Kohler. Uh, Terry Andred Kohler State Park. Very good. You got three answers. Do you have any wrong? They don't have any wrong yet. Uh, yeah, you're on a run here. You could maybe do it. If I come to Sheboygan, it's for the lake. For the upstate. Lakefront. I mean, is it you going to say it the same? Are we saying the same answer? Lake well, is the same as lake front? You want. Well, they can usually they tell you if it's the same answer, right? Yeah. Same answer. All right. Then uh, tourist attraction. Um, a lot of them will come here also for sport fishing. Sports fishing. <coughs> oh, I thought that was a great answer. A lot of people do come for fishing. All right. So the question is again. Name a tourist attraction in Sheboygan County. There's a couple up there that are missing. All I can think of schools, rockets for schools. It's not really rockets for schools. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Old Plank Road Trail. Is that one of them? <laughs> oh, three strikes. Three strikes. We've got three opportunities to get a right answer here. What will it be? What will it be? What do you think, Captain? What do you think the answer is? Road America. Road America. Is that a good answer? Yeah, that's a great answer. All right. Number one wins. Above and beyond, seven, Sheboygan County Marsh. All right, and we have a score of 22 to 77. Okay, we surveyed 100 residents. Come on, we're waiting for the triple points. Oh, the triple points. This is your chance. <laughs> this is your chance. You got, you got two more questions. You can make a run at it. Okay, we surveyed 100 residents, and we asked them this question. Name a popular folk song. Team two. Team two. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And is that the correct answer? Sorry. Wrong. Sorry, not the correct answer. Popular folk song. This land is your land. This land is your land by Woody That's Guthrie. That's correct. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you pass. All right. All right. So you've got you've got six more answers. Name a popular folk song. What do you think? Star Spangled Banner. Star <laughs> Spangled Banner. Uh, um, go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Is that one of them? No. Good answer, though. That's a great answer. Great song. Popular folk song that 100 residents would consider to be important to them. What do you think it is? Mm. Um, coming down the mountain when she comes. Coming or down the something. mountain when that, she comes. Is that the, I don't know if that's the Oh! <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. 
She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. She'll be. She'll be coming down. She'll be coming down when she comes. She'll be riding. No. <laughs> God bless America, I don't know. God bless America, <laughs> land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her. What's the answer, ma'am? The team has suggested Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Wrong. Oh. Team two steals the points. Seventh answer is... Roll out, of course. Roll out. Where's Sheboygan? Why wouldn't it be roll out the barrel? For God's sakes, I can't believe we missed that. Number six, home on the range. Home, home on the range. Number three, blowing in the wind. Of course. Number two, if I had a hammer. And the number one answer is, puff the magic dragon. Of course. Great answer. Team two gets the points. Out of three. All right, this, this is the final question. And let's we're gonna do the extra question. We're gonna do the final, this is the final question, correct? This is the final question. We interviewed fifth, it's only right that the final question should be from fifth graders. Oh, yes. Don't you think? With all the great answers we've had from fifth graders, don't you think that's only fitting? It should be the last question. All right, so we surveyed 100 fifth graders. And we asked them this question. Name a big animal with a short tail. Bear. A bear. Is a bear up there? What would fifth graders say? Team one. That's correct. Oh, but you get a chance to steal. Doberman Pinscher? A Doberman Pinscher. That's correct. A Doberman Pinscher. It's up there, but we have a higher answer. So the question is, do the Blooming Idiots want to play or do they want to pass? What's the captain, the captain says pass. Okay. What about a hippo? Oh, a hippopotamus. That's a great answer. Great answer. You guys could wrap it up here. I'm going to go with giraffe. A giraffe. Oh, you guys are rolling. And the answer is? I guess a rhinoceros. A rhinoceros. Oh, very good. You guys are rolling. Elephant. Number one answer. And the sixth or eighth answer is? Sure. <laughs> sure. A deer. A deer. Sure. A deer. <laughs> oh, wrong. Again, we surveyed 100 fifth graders, and we say, name a big animal with a short tail. What about a moose? A oh, moose. What do you think? Think that's a good answer? No. It was a good answer. I thought it was a good answer. All right. Well, I'm thinking uh, a deer or elk, but they're the same family. Yeah, I've already said that too. Yeah. Margaret. So, oh, you did? Yeah. Deer. Yep. Uh, I said the deer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I get, an, I get a second chance then? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Um, well, you got twenty. You got okay, five okay. seconds. Um, uh, five seconds. I'm blanking. Sorry. I, I, yeah. Blanking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blanking's not an animal. Yeah. Blanking. All right. We'll see if the blooming idiots can get it. See if they can get that last question. All right. And the answer is team captain. Try a pig. A pig. A pig. Yes. A pig. 
All right. And the number eight answer is cats. <laughs> Give it back. And our winner of the show is Team One, Blooming Idiots. Give a round of applause. Great job. Let's give them another round of applause for lasting and coming down here to the end. Hey, your per somebody's purse is up. All right. Can I have Katie down here? And she's going to wrap things up. And let's give Katie, again, another round of applause for being our chairperson and doing such a wonderful job at pulling this whole thing together. Okay. So we have the final results. Thank you. So in fourth place, the winning team of the fourth place, and this is out of 32 teams, mind you. We started with quite a hefty number. And uh, in fourth place, we have the Stephanie Weil Center, uh, sponsored right, by Doctors Bill and Jean uh, Schott Wagner. We hope you display this proudly in the lobby. Yes. And Where? the trophy. And the trophy. Why don't you get in there, Richard? Okay. All right. Great. All right. Let's give him a round of applause again. We're doing such a great job. score of 240 points. We have the Sheboygan Firefighters, uh, sponsored by the Sh uh, Sheboygan Surgical Center, where they're sponsored. All right. Firefighters, come on down. Pick up your trophy. Now, we expect this to be displayed proudly. All right, get together for a photograph. All right. All right, let's get those firefighters another round of applause. Not only do they save lives, but they're also good sports. That's great to see. And the second place team, I have a feeling I know who this is. We have Maritime Insurance. Maritime, come on down. Quite an accomplishment. What a great job they did. They're the only team that had the strategy that you always play, and they got this far. It's amazing. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Call them contrarians, and it worked. All right. And our winning team is? You know, I definitely have been remiss here because besides the wonderful certificate, you do have a cash prize. So I need an answer from the team captain. In fourth place, that is a $100 prize. And uh, you may uh, keep it, uh, donate it back to Rotary, or donate it to a charity of your choosing. Do you have an answer on that? And <laughs> oh, thank you very much. And the firefighters, you also have won $100. Do we have a consensus from your team on how? Okay, right, great. And then in second place, Maritime. Oh, right. thank you very much. Thank you. And that is two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Are you okay with that? Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so we come to our final uh, award, and that is for the first place team. Uh, and that team uh, had a total, wow, of 647 points. So right. way out there. No question about uh, who uh, prevailed. Yeah. Let's have the Blooming Idiots down. You know, I think they made it just on their name myself. And you got to give them guts. Anybody who wants to be called Blooming Idiots and then they win the whole damn thing. Who would have thought? <laughs> if nothing else, they had the, the most, uh, most guts of the whole crew. All right. All right. Very good. And and now you get to sing We Are the Champions. Losers, <laughs> because we are the champion. <laughs> All right, ready? Come on. We are the champions, we are the champions, no time for losers, because we are the champions of the world, all right. Uh, all right. Let's give a round of applause again to the Blooming Idiots for doing such a great job.